all right guys so how's it going today so this is technically day four now i'm moving hay but we are we are officially done hauling our hay i hauled our last bale earlier today we are only <laughs> we only needed one more could have could have gotten it last night but i don't really feel like it so uh no this would actually be uh No, this would be day five, actually. Yeah, so five days now. So, yeah, it took uh, about five and a half days to get all ours in. You got to include some of today because I hauled one today. So, yeah. So, there should be, I think, ten of these bales. These are the uh, good bales. This is that new hay. That bale I just pulled out of anywhere because I use it as a marker. Because he put a couple of flags in the ground to show how to do this. But they, one of those flags blew away. So I got to put a bale there before I lose the other one. So there should be ten of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and then ten, and this is the bale that I pulled out by the. Uh, this is the one that come by the old bridge over there, fucking twine. I'm breaking twine like fucking crazy over here, because uh, the young guy wants me to haul him from this way, from the flat side of the bale, and that honestly, I'm breaking more twine doing that than I am from the other side, from the twine side. This is the twine side, and this is the flat side. I've broken more fucking twine doing this than I have my way. But I guess when the other kid was using the forks, he said he was breaking more twine uh, from the twine side. Well, everyone's different, I guess. So I'm breaking more twine going from the flat side. So I guess if he wants a bunch of broken twine, that's on him then. But that's the way he wanted me to haul him. So, yeah, so... The new hay field is done. We got all the hay off of that. And then this bale is the one that was over by the old bridge over there. Over there. And uh, I still got all of that over there. Got all that over there. And then, then I got this big field left. I did that corner over there. We always take the hay from over there. And then over there. And then I've been taking some out of here just because mix of hay i guess there goes an airplane but none of you assholes out there that own these damn internationals never told me how easy these doors how light these fucking doors were so like really <laughs> i know i know the young guys said they come off but i didn't think they were that light though i figured you know being 1978 or whatever the hell, you know, an old tractor, they mostly used steel back in those days. Nothing was made out of plastic. So I figured those doors weighed like 500 pounds a piece, but more like 20 pounds. So I took the bitch off because I'm, I was getting sick and tired of sweating and it's, it's, it's fucking hot when there's no wind and there's hardly a, there's a good breeze, but there's not much of a breeze either. And I got the windows open and stuff, but you just don't get any airflow. And then with the air conditioner, well, mine is the air conditioner, just a blower. It's still hot in that damn cab. So, I thought, it's like, you know what? I got to take that fucking door off. Um, question is, you know, how heavy will it be to put it back on? Because now you're going uphill instead of downhill with it. So, that'll be a question there. Um... Because I got to put the door back on when the rain comes because they're talking rain in a couple of days. So the door's going to have to go back on because if the interior was shit, I wouldn't care. But the bottom half of the interior is still brand new. The seat is fucked, but I don't want to sit on a wet seat either. And then, of course, the headliner's fucked too. But the lower interior is worth saving, so it's worth putting the door back on to save that. So... 
Um, yeah, I, I left the passenger side door on just because I got all my junk and stuff sitting up against it. So my water and uh, my tools and stuff, you know. So, yeah, it kind of has to stay on. If I didn't have all that shit, then I would have taken it out. But, yeah, so I don't know what happened to the other flag. He had a second flag in here. Oh, here it is. I guess it just fell out. That's what happened. It just fell out. Okay, well, we found the flag then. All right, because I think he wants me... I think he wants me to put a row there and then a row here. And then I guess just keep going. But he wants me to stay out of the little spots. But I'm going to make these... These rows can be pretty long yet. We can go probably another 100 feet yet before I have to start another new row. And the reason why we're doing this is because of last year what happened we couldn't get the trucks down in here we had to get them out with the skid steer and that was time consuming because you know we weren't expecting that but now we're expecting that this year we're i think this is what he wants to do this is why he's doing it plus it's just faster truck loading you know and i'm not doing nothing and this tractor's not really doing anything so why not we do this for him for something he's paying me to do it anyway um but he's paying me in hay which is fine we've already taken our our share of it so but yeah i think i'm going to pretty much quit now i'm going to go home and um i'm going to go home and have lunch or dinner whatever the fuck it is i think it's lunch it's, it's Yeah, it's 145 right now. So Yeah. And uh don't tell the young guy this or any of his family members, but I know somebody probably will. This bale fell off. This is the bale that fell off because this is the side it was sitting on the ground. I guess I didn't have it on the forks all the way. And I was literally maybe about 200 feet from putting it well here I guess. And uh, it fell off, and it landed on its, its side. So I was like, what the hell am I going to do to save that? Because it was laying on its side. So I tried it with the forks, and sure enough, the forks got it to flip over. But all this twine's pretty much busted because of the, what happened. But that's not, you know, it's just, it's what, it is what it is. There's still some twine here, but there's, I don't think there's much on this side at all. So this probably should go on the top of the stack, you know, when they load it on their trucks, but because I pretty much popped all the twine. So I guess maybe the twine got under the forks and I didn't know it and then when it fell off it ripped the twine off. So but this twine's loose too. But I can't help it. I mean this is the way he wants me to haul him. Well fuck I'm popping twine more this way than I ever did when I was moving them the other way. I popped, when I was moving them the other way, I was on, I, for the whole time I did it, I popped five twines doing that. This way, I'm probably on my 10th twine now because two bales over there popped, popped really good. Um, or I think, actually I think, well, let's see. This bale's fucked. This bale's destroyed. Uh, I don't think I popped any twine on this guy. Didn't pop anything on this guy. No. Nope. Popped a little bit on this guy, but not too bad. Here's a big wad of it that I popped off. There's still some laying on the fucking ground. Here's more that I popped off. Here's another one that popped off. Uh, here's more that popped off. Here's more that popped off. Uh... Here's another one that's popped off, but I ain't gonna touch it because it ain't because it's short. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Well, yeah, I'll go over here, I guess. Yeah, and then I popped one over here. I popped a wad over here, and then that there popped off. So I'm popping more twine this way than I am the other way. I think when the other guy was probably uh, 
forking him. Maybe he was too rough and, you know, popping the twine that way. But this is what the this is how the young guy wants me to do it, and I'm going to do what he tells me to do. It's I mean it's, it's his, these are his bales, so they're his problem. And some of the fucking bales are on such a fucking cocky at on a cocky at angle that you can't get at them. So if I I can't help it if I pop fucking twine that way too. I got one that's sitting up inside of the dike. Not really too sure how the hell I'm going to get it. I'm going to be forced to pop twine because that's just the way it's going to be because I have to go on a cocky angle to get it. So, but yeah, so technically this is uh, day five because I, I hauled bales yesterday too. I didn't get any video of it because I just wanted to get, just wanted to get the frick done. Uh, so, but yeah. So that's what's going on, uh, putting the tractor to work, and, uh, yeah. I don't really care for that, I feel like it's going to pop that art pin out. It's under a lot of tension, but, yeah, so, uh. What happened there now? Was like that come loose? I wonder how you fix that now. I guess you don't fix that. Huh. That popped off for some reason and uh That's not going to stay. It was staying, but it popped off, but whatever. I guess I could put a piece of baling twine around it to kind of keep it from moving, but... Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing for now. I might do some more later tonight, but... I can't do this too much because then I'll be, uh... I'm going to have dreams about this. And, uh, because if I do too much of the same thing over and over and over, then I'm going to start dreaming about it, and, yeah. So, but I think I moved a total of 12 or 13 bales. Yeah, so, still got a long ways to go yet. But, and they're working on the bridge again. You can see the, no, the, the, the temporary stop red light thing they put up I guess they're working on the bridge that's like their second day in a row or third day in a row now they've been working on that bridge but I guess it, I guess it needs maintenance once a year so but yeah so there you go guys um, day 5 of hauling hay this is what I've been doing so far and i got a hell of a lot more to do so but I'm going to take off I'm going to go home have something to eat and uh, cool off and it's cooler in the cab now without the door on, but it's still kind of hot out, but... Yeah, so... Alright guys, I'm going to take off, so I guess I uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff, so yeah. Thanks for watching guys, take it easy.